So if you if you start scaling up the population really big, even though you've got the carrying capacity for that, even though we have the resources and the material conditions required for people to survive in that, there are, you know, there's only one spot at the top of a pyramid, right? And there's only so many spots at layer two and at layer three. And so when you create these huge surpluses of population due to the abundance of food and things like that, you can have large populations and yet you're going to increase over time the proportion of people that don't feel like they fit in because there really is an absolute limit to the number of people that can occupy those top slots in society. And yeah. this, this connects into Churchin's ideas of elite overproduction and some of the mouse utopia stuff that you've talked about. And I'm wondering what your thoughts are there. When he started talking, I def I, I totally knew you'd end up with mouse utopia. I could see the logical projection pro, uh, progression. Uh, mouse utopia is really fascinating. And how much of the background would you like me to explain to your audience? Let's let's start from scratch there. Um, okay. So these are experiments that were done in the mid 1900s, and and I'll let you just describe them from scratch. Mouse Utopia was a study that was run about 30 times in the late 60s, early 70s, and you had a cage that could hold 6,000 mice, and you drop nine mice into the cage, and then you see what happens. And infinite food perfect climate, no disease. And then each time the mouse population hit around 2000, which is a third of the carrying capacity. And then the mice started to see complete social breakdown. Female mice became aggressive and masculine. Male mice became effeminate and would groom themselves all day. The mice stopped breeding at all. The mice became, and keep in mind, autism wasn't the buzzword it is today in the yeah. 60s. It was yeah. an actual clinical term. The mice became autistic. The mice lost the ability to socially communicate with each other or maintain relationships. Uh, and mice broke down between there were these homeless mice that would wander around the colonies, not caring if they got hurt or killed. You had gangs of evil sociopathic mice who would kill those who continued to function. And you also had um, you had the, the preening uh, beautiful ones that would just uh, constantly groom themselves, but they wouldn't mate or anything. And so the mouse colony completely collapsed each time because the birth rate hit zero and then it was complete social collapse. Mm -hmm. and, and so so just to reiterate before you go deeper, this uh, big arena was constructed and it's built to house something like 6,000 mice. So 6,000 mice can occupy the space based on you know what they knew about the average nest size and, and the space requirements of individual mice. There was plenty of food, so they never ran out of food. 